Hey! Yo, yo, you too! Back with another video. This time it's something clean like my UI. Yes, that's right. I've been talking about my UI, ready for Shadowlands, ready for pre patch. I should have said, showed this before, but it was away the weekend. But we're going to talk about my UI. But you know what we got to do first? We got to shout out everybody. Shout out to uh, all my 190 subs. You guys are legends. In a month and a half of doing proper um, videos, you guys have just been in me. Insane amount of support. Thank you for all everyone that's comments, everyone that likes, even dislikes. I don't give. I don't care. You guys are making this, this content creator dream come true for y'all. Um, but. All my things are below my, my socials. Join my Twitter, join my Discord, join my Instagram, join my TikTok, do all that kind of stuff. I do, I, I do a different kind of thing. I try to be a content creator for, for everyone, do a couple of laughs and all that kind of stuff, but join them all uh, if you want. It's up to you. Uh, join the Discord if you want. Uh, it's small, but it's growing, and hopefully I can meet more and more of you so I wanted to talk about them. And, Cry about them in your channel <laughs> a little bit more, but yeah. So in Discord, uh, I'll also throw in my UI export string in there. Um, well, so you can download it. But thank you. My sponsors, no G Fuel, not yet. Kema, got the key light from Kema, the this light bag here from Kema, jumper from Kema. I am Kema decked out. And I become famous. I don't want any of these high sponsors. I want Kmart. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. But thank you for all your support so far. Hopefully, I can meet more of you in chat. You can do whatever. But let's go to the real thing you guys are waiting for. My UI. All right. So let's get down to the UI, the bread and butter. As you can see, it's very simplistic. I like it simplistic because I want to uh, be able to look around at the environment uh, and mechanics and all that kind of thing. So the only thing is we really track on the screen, as you can see, coordinated assault, muzzle or interrupts, your wildfire bomb, kill command, your carve, your focus, um, and that's it. That's it. All I really wanted to track on screen. But when we start using our cooldowns, that's when you see everything's pop up. So we want to, I want to do the, the big cooldowns first. So use coordinated assault. It'll give you your timer of how long you have coordinated assault right up above it and how, how long the cooldown is left. So it's just the, you know, keep it on the eyes. You want to, whenever you don't want coordinated assault buff to be up here, uh, you want to pretty much to be where I think right next to where wherever your coordinator side is. So as you can see, it just popped up there. Well, aspect of eagle, aspect of eagle is a bit different. When you use it, it's right underneath, right underneath. It shows you the cooldown of when it's coming back up. The reason why I do this, and you'll see with other spells, is because I don't want the whole UI to be icon here, icon there. It just gets too too cluttered, right? Um, and, and then you might miss a couple of things. You might miss things on the floor uh, that you're walking into, or you might miss something, a projectile coming out. Uh, that's what, the reason why I use this. The next ones, exhilaration. Exhilaration, right under muzzle, right under muzzle. You can see it's on, it's pink. The reason why I use pink is because turtle is green. So I pop my turtle. Turtle says I have two minutes and whatever down to go. So I pop that there. Next one is your disengage. Disengage is there. Uh, it's in blue because I blur. Um, and that's the reason why I don't track harpoon because it's pretty much on the same cooldown. Uh, if I use that, that means I know if I use them at the same time, I know that they're going to come out up at the same time. And the last one is cheetah orange because you ran fast, you run fast. So they're the big cooldowns. They're all pretty much down uh, vertically. Uh, again, I don't have a lot of icons, I track them by numbers and it, it, 
it works for me. So hopefully that will help you out. And the other things are, so if we use your wildfire bomb, it actually pops up with the icon here, show you your bomb damage, because you, you can't, with wildfire bomb, you can't bomb bomb, right? Because it only puts the one dot on. So this is just to be able to track um, a long left, and then if you use also Serpent Sting, Serpent Sting pops up as well. Show you uh, how, how long left. So you have your Wildfire Bomb and your Serpent Sting. Now, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. You know, everything now come, will start changing once we uh, use the different talent tree. So let's start off with the good stuff. So Viper's Venom. Viper's Venom procs off your Raptor Strike slash Mongoose Bite. So let's hopefully get a very, very quick proc here. All right, there we go. The so Viper Venom, which is pretty much says Viper, Viper Venom. Again, no, not many icons, just one the word. That means Viper's Venom is ready to use for your 250% damage increase. So it just says that right above, uh, as you can see, this this is the main damage uh, here. It just props it here, so you know to use it, and then you see the um, duration of Serpent's thing underneath. Again, in terms of engagement, don't really care for it. And Alpha Predator, when you click Alpha Predator, it changes to two charges of health. Um, kill Command. Change off it, goes to the one. Uh, same with Gorilla Tactics, your Wildfire Bomb has two, switch out of it, has one, you use which is a butcher, but uh, carp turns into butcher. You press it, it shows you the cooldown until the next one. Pretty straight and simple. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I only track exhilar uh, I track exhilaration. Um, so if I do this, it tracks it when you use more focus. Um, it'll just go down faster, pretty much. I don't track camouflage because I don't really ever use camouflage at all. Uh, Bloodseeker. So with Bloodseeker, so again, this is all. Pretty much where the eyes are. So you had your coordinated assault, you had your bomb, you had your viper venom, and you have your kill command. So when you kill command, it puts a dot, shows you how long the dot is left. Simple. Or where the eyes should be. Nothing more. Um, I don't use steel trap and I don't use murder of crows at all too much, but if we, we might see some use. Um, but when you click on them, you have your steel trap pretty much up here, throw it, and you have your murder of crows. They, they pretty much appear in the same area. The reason why I have here, because you don't really use them for PvE. I use them for mostly PvP. Um, so that's why you don't really need to see a lot of things around, so you can really just track it in there. Or to be wild, it just makes your aspect of cheetah, aspect of turtle, go and aspect of eagle down. That's all part of the over here post haste you don't really track post haste at all because it just gives you a smooth um a buff um a smooth speed when you disengage but you do track binding shot so binding shot is so in in this area here is more of my utility kind of thing you can binding shot goes away off cooldown i don't track it because i don't since i don't use it too much i don't track it but once it comes off cooldown you'll see it come up Next thing, tip of the spear. So let me switch to Alpha Predator. So it's a very small. Here. Shows you how many bites in white. Why white? Because tip of the spear. I don't know. <laughs> I just chose white. So it's because with um, most models, it's just it's just the easiest to see it. So tip of the spear, that shows you how many stacks. When you use your Raptor Strike or Mongoose Bite, it goes away pretty much. Nice, simple, in your face, knows you how many stacks. Pretty good. Pretty good at the moment. Yeah, yeah, uh, Next one, Mongoose Bite. All right, actually, we'll go Flanking Strike. So Flanking Strike, you can see, it popped up exactly the same as Binding Shot. Once you use it, it pretty much will go away. We'll show you. Actually, it doesn't go away. I changed it. Whoops. But it'll just show you on cooldown on when and when it comes back off. It's a bit different than binding shot. Um, I thought I changed it, but if not, we can always you can always move that to show off cooldown. 
Um, but because it's one of the main, I think the reason why I changed it was because it's a main ability uh, that you really want to use nearly all the time. Um, you want to see the good and how long it comes up because you can wrap the strike, get um, use all your focus and then uh, flank to get your thing back. Now the biggest thing, your mongoose bite, the mongoose bite window. All right. So mongoose, boom, right above your focus, right above your focus. The one thing I don't track with which I used to track is how many stacks of mongoose bite you have. Um, but to me, once you start playing, like once you play the spec a lot, you understand how many you have. Um, and you also know when you have fire, because you do an overhead smash. When you get five stacks, you do an overhead smash. So I don't really track it because I really track the, just the window because you want to still weapon sting, you still want to bomb um, in between. You want to uh, kill command after every second one. You want to keep them on cooldown, never want to overstack. Um, but yeah, so I don't track the window because I know if it's coming towards the end, I know not to mongoose fight and save up and then mongoose fight into the uh, Birds of Prey, you don't really need to track Birds of Prey because it's just uh, your coordinated assault, once you coordinate assault, that number just goes slower by a second. Nothing. Chakram, I, no one ever uses Chakram, so I put it a little bit here. I, I'll probably move it because that's where all the other the things are. But Chakram, small. No, you, you, you might use it for leveling, but you're never ever going to use it. But the big one is your wildfire in fusion where it switches your bombs from uh, shrapnel to pheromone to volatile so what i like to do is even though i have this coming up i like to track it by the name so dot bomb next to dot bomb neck i should change that to bleed but i've always had it as dot uh, so it means that dot bomb is up next you throw it means you want to proc it means that you have your you, you want to use your mongoose bite raptor strike or your carb butchery so you can apply all the the bleeds out it should be called bleed bomb but no then you have your kill command bomb it means spend your energy because you're going to be uh while the while the bomb is up you just get free uh free fun free you know kill commands off that and hopefully we get pheromone bomb i mean poison bomb it hasn't shown up but uh, let's see if i can get let's see if i can get it for you guys there we go next is serpent sting bomb the so serpent sting bomb bomb means when you serpent sting you, you want to serpent sting as many as you can uh because once you throw it uh, your volatile bomb it just explodes for more damage around so that's why it says serpent sting bomb you want to get as many serpent stings up um but that's it that's all I track. Uh, I don't track intimidation. Uh, it's one minute. It's pretty much you, you learn the cooldowns compared to like where your bombs and all that kind of things are. Um, and that's all. That's all I really track. For me, that's okay. For me, that's all I need to track. Um, but if you want to add your your own spiel to it, once you download it, you can add whatever if you want to use it or not. But that's all I track. I try to make it as simplistic as possible uh, and I hope you like it hope you enjoy it again I will drop it into my discord I'll put the export uh, list export string in there if you guys want to grab it come join again all my socials TikTok, my Instagram my Twitter and all that kind of stuff you guys are legends thank you for your support as per usual and you on the flip side shadowlands coming up soon pokemon's coming out i'll be streaming a, a, a bit of pokemon too um because of the new expansion but hope you enjoy thank you for your support and i'll catch you soon